This video will show you how to start and stop the MySQL server and MySQL workbench on Windows. Right click on the notifier icon, move your cursor to the top of the menu, then select start on the sub menu. When the server starts, the notifier icon will change color. That way you'll know that your MySQL database server is running. To start Workbench, right click on the notifier icon and click on SQL Editor. Once Workbench starts, you will see a connection icon to the top left of the program window. By clicking on that icon, you can establish a connection to your MySQL database server. Here you can check the status of your server, run queries on the databases on your server, backup and restore databases, and perform other operations on your server and your databases. You can navigate between the initial program window and the established connection window using the tabs at the top. If you do not see a connection icon available when you start Workbench, you can add a connection yourself. Click on the plus sign next to MySQL connections, type in a connection name, possibly localhost, and test the connection. If the test is a pass, click OK, click OK again. You have added a new connection which you can use to connect to your database server. When you're done working on your databases and your server, you can quit Workbench and then stop the MySQL database server through the notifier icon. Once again, the color of the icon will change to let you know that the database server has stopped.